What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, before we get started, I gotta tell you about my comedy club, huh? If you're gonna be in Stockholm, then come to the Laugh House. If not, wait for me to come to Gothenburg or Malmö, Uppsala. Those are the cities I'm gonna be in with my club. So check me out when you get a chance. Go to the laughhouse.se to see all the dates and when you can come and laugh with me. I'm doing my best to bring international comedy here to make Sweden the capital of English comedy in Scandinavia. So check your boy out and make sure to say hello when you come to a show. I've also got some podcasts that I make for you. If you're interested in those types of things, I have Silverhander, Teach Me Sweden, Spinafel, and Perfect Apartment. All available wherever you get your podcasts. And now for today's reaction. Today I'll be reacting to a song called Bullet by Infinite Mass. A little bit about the song, it was released in 2001 on the album Face. The song charted for eight weeks on the Swedish charts, peaking at the number four spot. I actually recently listened to the Infinite Mass song, She's a Freak. Check that out, it's right on this channel. And it was one of the worst songs that I've heard so far, in my opinion, of course. I consider it certified trash. I was uh, almost offended by how bad the lyrics were. <laughs> and you know, yeah, I mean, check it out if you wanna see what I thought about it. I even went back and listened to the song again. I felt like I was a little mean. And I was like, let me give it another chance, man. Listen back and uh, yeah, still trash. <laughs> it's not good, not a good song, not for me. And some of you reached out to say, no, Bullet is a better song, check that song out, you shouldn't have done this song. Some said it's not really a hip hop group, they're you know, experimenting, doing different things. And then some other excuses that I heard for the group. It makes me skeptical, not gonna lie, I'm a little skeptical of this, but I'm a fair man. I'm coming in with an open mind, clean slate, clear, fresh palette. Let's do it, let's check this out. I'm giving it another chance. Fun fact, Infinite Mass gained much popularity in the 1990s for their participation in the film Sekana, which I actually watched. They were, I was asked by uh, David Jurid uh, on uh, Pietri Morum Passit to check it out and come in and review the movie. And I did that. I was probably out there somewhere on the interwebs, so you can check it out. But uh, such a bad movie. It's such a bad movie, man. <laughs> and like Infinite Mass being associated with this really bad movie. The movie was so bad that it's good, man. It was so bad that I wanted you, subscribers of my channel, to be there when I watched it. As I watched, I was like, man, I wish I could have done this on my YouTube channel. Because <laughs> it was so bad, man. I at least wish you could have been there to see my face when you hit him with the Hallelujah, saw y'all. <laughs> that's classic, man. So bad is good, so I'm not mad at that, but that's how they got more popularity. As for this song, I'm gonna guess this song goes something like, Bullet, they got the bullet. They trying to get that gun and pull it. Shoot me with the bullet. The bullet, he tried to get his gun and pull it and shoot me with the bullet. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right, but I do know it's time to figure this thing out. It's the second chance now for Infinite Mass. Let's see if they make this a redemption. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to be turned around. So let's do it. I got the lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen. And here is Bullet by Infinite Mass. Go. Move 
It's the lyrics, man. It's so the raps are so bad. From this it reminds me of the last one. It's the same album too. I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was trying to give it over my. I was trying to keep it over mine, and I'm sorry, man. It's it's, it's still that 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 verse was was certified trash as well. I do. I, I really like the hook. It sounds like it might be a sample or something, but it, it's really nice. And I thought I was in for a nice surprise. The beat sounds good. That little bass line is nice. Well, I don't know. It's not over yet. This is only that was only one verse and one chorus or two choruses. So uh, let's 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 get back let's get back into it. Maybe they maybe it gets a little uh, maybe it gets better. Let's hope it gets better. Get my feelings across in a world full of snake lines, fronts and fakes. Take advantage of another man's loss. Do whatever it costs, it's your force to be the boss. Seems to be the model right now in this day, age, and time. That's why we're at lines with a message and content that say not to rise. Can't be part of this, can't identify with hate and be manipulated. Try to get away and stay focused, low, get away from what you were created. Can't test the rest of luck. Time to change this motherfucker up. Try to shut me down, see, but not a mass murder mind that lasts till infinity. Load up your bullet. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, man. It's almost offensive how bad, like, how do you let this get onto a track? How do you let this verse come out and be like, you know what, Charles, put that on there, man. That's the one. That's the one. Way to go, person in the group. <laughs> Stop, so fucking bad. The last part, it didn't even rhyme the last line. He was rhyming okay. He was falling off the beat. It's like he didn't have any, like he didn't have rhythm. It's funny that he said, uh, change this motherfucker up. <laughs> Changing up the way to rap <laughs> improperly. <laughs> ah, let's get back to it. But this part is dope. This is just not talk. Infinite Mass Bullet. Uh, do me a favor, do not suggest another Infinite Mass song to me. <laughs> Unless it sounds way different from what I had. Give me one where they don't rap, you know? That song, every element of that song was good except for the lyrics, but the lyrics were so bad that I can't, I can't fuck with that song, man. I'm sorry, I can't. It's like, it's offensive that they even let this out there. It's like a child wrote this. Man. Everything else is good. Even the scratching at the end, the DJ did their thing, mixing it like that, especially if they did it live or whatever, but I'm, it doesn't matter. They just they did it and put it, imagine it in concert. That, that shit's probably dope too, that part. The, uh, the scratching at the end, the sample is really nice. The uh, Even the way the music, I don't even know if it's music or words, which is a good sign too, when it's like at the end of every time they say that part of the chorus, the line of the chorus, it's like, load up. It's not like the music went, load up. <laughs> well, not with that tone, but like, <laughs> like that, that's how it went. And that sounded so good. And then just wasting three verses, wasting three verses, not even 16 bars each. 
thankfully, I don't want any more. They could have like, like the part when they, uh, when they were after the little, the little, the little, load up, load the bullet, little, 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 load up the bullet. That part at the end of the song, it was like, if they could have chanted the whole song the way they did that load up the bullet, shoot me through the head. I mean, uh, our time is gonna come. That's why we don't run, even though that's a whack too. Our time is gonna come, that's why we don't run. And if you think I'm dead, put your bullet to my head. It's kind of dumb, but if they chanted the whole song like that with other, you know, words, they could have got off better than trying to do the rap thing where the dude's just bad at rapping. So much opportunity here. Made it to number four on the charts though, man. So somebody liked it. I didn't know. Ah, well, can't like them all. That's what we're doing, we're checking out the classics. This is one and uh, wasn't for me. Thanks for the suggestion. You can leave suggestions if you think something is for me. Remember too, this channel isn't just to get music that I like. It's just to get my reaction to music that's Swedish music. It's okay if you make a suggestion that uh, to a song I don't like. It is what it is. This song was a was an influential song. Many people told me that they thought I would like it more. Actually, I like it more than She's a Freak. So that is true. This is a better song than She's a Freak. But. Don't fret if I don't like the song, whatever. It's no big deal. And if you like the song and I don't, so what? That's just how life goes, man. But keep get, sending me suggestions. I want more, give me more. Write it down in the comments below. I'll be checking it out. And uh, if you see a suggestion to a song that you think would be a good song for me to react to, then like that one. The more likes, the more likely I am to add it to the ever-growing list. Speaking of that list, the next song I'll be reacting to is called Café Utan Grede by Josta Jonsson. I have no idea if this is gonna be serious, if it's gonna be good, if it's gonna be bad, who knows, man. That's why I'm gonna check it out. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications and all that jazz. And most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. Don't forget to go out and check comedy out. Comedy is really good. Even if it's not my show, Go to some comedy. All my comedian friends are hilarious. Check out some comedy. The scene is very strong in Sweden. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.